Hey, what's up? What's good? It's your boy, Angry Jackalo. Robert R. Ricks. So, yeah. As the uh, title says, uh, I actually got me hands on a grail knife. What is this grail knife? You may be asking yourself. Like, Rob, what is your grail knife? Well, you guys are already familiar with the fact that I am a pretty big fan of the M4X Punisher, right? And you can see this one. You can see this one right here has a substantial amount of abuse and modifications to it and whatnot. What's up, Kinect? What's up, Garen? What's up, Vixen? What's up, Chicken? The yak the yak 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 the yak was just talking was just thinking about me. Well, I almost I've been thinking about y'all all the time. Let's see. I would say your cholesterol, but you said you are good health. That's right. That's right. My cholesterol and all my other shit is 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 stellar. Is outstanding. So this blade was designed by a gentleman by the name of Daniel Serto. Okay, and was. In the movie Punisher, the 2008 movie. And I saw that knife in the movie. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Because you got to admit, it, 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 it does not look like your standard blades. You know, and I was like, what the shit? And so I, I hunted for it. And I saw, um, I found his relentless, relentless knives. And was like, fuck, I can't afford $3,000. I fucking... I want one of them, he had like six prototypes, I think, at the time that, you know, they had gone through until they made the the final decision on it. And then, obviously, Topps uh, manufactured, mass-produced the uh, the design. But it wasn't, it wasn't quite the same. And I was like, okay. But as the years have gone by, uh, you know, I, I definitely had a love for this. I mean, shit, you can see it. It's, it's in the motherfucking logo right fucking there. Okay. Simulcon, what's up? What's good? It's funny you say what's good because we're going to talk about so what's good in a second. So, of course, this was, you know, and I, I, I petitioned and worked with Tops and said, hey, can we do some Rocky Mountain Tread on this? And then they finally started moving around to uh, doing some customization. I'm not saying I'm the guy that uh, prompted that or anything else, but I think I was definitely a pretty vocal advocate of customizing different pieces and offerings on a blade and i think a lot of people in the community also were the same way but eventually we did get you know rocky mountain tread as well as uh you know uh some other options available for each of these blades and craig and those crazy motherfuckers at one point decided uh you know here rob and they did me up a, a you know black on black um M4X Punisher with, um, you know, it's like you can't really see it because it's fucking dark as shit in my office because I'm like a fucking troll. But uh, it's it's the black and red uh, scales, a little bit smoother, a little thinner profile, blah, blah, blah. And so I've always been a huge fan of uh, this particular blade. So every so often I would be up on Daniel Sordo's website and he would have blades that were available. And I was like, and every time there would be like an Infrared Punisher, I'd, I'd be late. I'd be late to the party. I, I'd see it like literally three or four days before I'm on the website, sold, thank you, blah, 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 date. And I'm like, fuck. You know, and a couple of times I was on time, but I just had no money for it. No money. You know, because uh, they're not cheap. You know, usually they sit around 650 or, you know, depending on the steel, could be a little bit higher. So I was like, fuck. Well, 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 let me fucking tell you. Uh-oh, hang on. Hang on. I got my wife calling, hang on. Hello! You're on your way home? I'm live streaming. You're on, you're on the tube right now. Yeah, you're on the YouTube. You want to say anything to the YouTube? No? No, nothing. You don't want to say suppers, bitches. Nothing like that. All right. All right, love you. Bye. 
So you gotta communicate. You gotta have priorities. You gotta have priorities. Now, without further motherfucking ado, so I'm up on the site and I seize one. I feel like a fucking Pokemon hunter. There's a rare motherfucking Pokemon there, right? Rare Pokemon. So I get my Pokeball. I toss that bitch because I'm I'm not I'm not sure like I, I told my wife our anniversary is coming up and I said you know what I want for my anniversary is this and she's like well, you're fucking paying for it I'm like I know but I want your permission because I don't want you mad at me and shit when I get it you know and it was a Josh thank you so she's like get it I'm like okay and I hit it now because of the way he does stuff like I don't know how often he updates his website and everything. So I, I had, I had like a, a two or three hour wait where I was like, fuck, did it, did it go through? Did it not go through? Until finally I got the email and it said it went through. So I was like, all right, it went through. I'm going to get it. It's going to be mine. Right. Then, then, then I get a mail call. Okay. The leather sheets, right? Yeah, no call. Well, don't you don't you worry. There's gonna be a full write up on this shit. Oh, come on. Oh my fuck. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious with this shit? Dun 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 dun. And I'm like, oh my fucking hell. Now, you might already tell. You might already fucking have discerned that this some um, bitch right here is a little bigger, a little bigger. There's a smidge bigger than the top's variant. So let's 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 do a comparison, shall we? Yeah. I think she's bigger. I think she's bigger. Mm-hmm. Let's lay them on top of each other. Oh. Oh, it's that kind of sacrilegious. It's kinda of sacrilegious. Look at that shit. Yeah, she's a lot bigger. Now handle wise, yeah, they're pretty they're pretty close. Hey. No, I'm really give it a ball. No, no squeaky squeaky while I'm doing this shit. All right, so you see this some um, bitch right here. Now it's funny because the backside, that's that's all pretty similar, right? But it's just the just the fucking mm, mm, end of it. The mm, mm, mm side is like, hey now, hey now, how you doing? All right, so. First and foremost, handle scales. They got kind of a green tint to them when I'm in the, in the sunlight. When I'm in the sunlight, it got a little greenness. Okay? A little green to it. Which I'm like, what is this? What? Is this? What? Ah, what is this darkness I see here? Oh, that's a scab. That's where my mouth split. Ah. Ah. Probably going to bleed out here. I had a... A moment where this this motherfucker right here split on me. Oh, I'm okay. I, I kissed the blade and it slashed my shit. Open. But anyway, so the the handle, the, the the actual handle scales and everything else, it fits the mitts perfectly. That was a I was concerned about that. I ain't gonna lie, cause I was like, fuck. This ain't a real one hundred percent custom custom. Eight percent custom custom custom. You know what I'm saying? So you guys uses the first motherfuckers. Let's see here. Man, use the first motherfuckers. We are gonna see. We are gonna see. I haven't. I haven't cut anything. And I've had this for over twenty four hours. I didn't cut nothing. I mean, I did kind of do the nail test, you know. But that was it. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Let's see. Is she sharp? I don't know. I don't know. That don't look like that don't look like right. I don't know. Maybe I just out of practice. I just out of practice, maybe. Oh yeah, I was just out of practice. This is a big bitch. It's been a while since I've been handling a big blade. You know, I haven't I haven't fucked with a big blade in a while. In mean, a big blade in a while. There we go. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Look at the page curls with the quickness. All right. Enough of that bullshit. This is the first time in a while since I've held a blade. I said, damn, I wish I had me a fucking frozen pig head. I wish I had a fucking 
fuck! It was the first time. Then how many moons? Now, one thing that's irritating about this blade finish, it's sexy, right? Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Catches the light and everything. It also gets fucking finger, finger, fingerprints. Ugh! Oh, that hurts my fucking soul! Fucking fingerprints. So now I'm gonna have to walk around with a goddamn rag of my motherfucking thing up. I have to walk around with a goddamn cloth to do this. There we go. No, no. Still smudge, smudge. Can't that OCD in me will not allow the smudge, smudge. Yeah, but that's better. That's better. That's better. All right. So the uh, edges up here, they are nice and sharp. I don't have to do nothing with that. So just how the motherfuckers are supposed to be. Woo, 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 woo. It's got a cool little stamp right there. So it's motherfucking Relentless Knives USA. Which makes me happy. Now the sheath, I was like, oh my god. You know, what 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 can I expect from the sheath? Because you know, dude's not a dude's not a, a sheath maker. He's a fucking knife maker, right? He's a fucking knife maker. So I was happy when I opened the package. There, there was a little leather, a little leather sheath in here. Okay, a little leather. It's all, it's all molded and whatnot. You know, it's 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 shit. It's it's a motherfucking sheath, and she fits in here snug as a motherfucker. I mean, she fits in here snug. Like I got a, oh baby, I got a, I got. A, oh, there it is. Hear that? Ain't no, ain't never sliding out. This bitch ain't sliding out. I could like, be well. Let's be honest. I could be waddling quickly. Through something, it ain't never gonna fall out if I had it like hanging on a shit. Like, it ain't going nowhere. This motherfucker ain't coming out of this. Like, I have to actually be committed. Shing! Like, I have to really want this bitch out, you know? And, and you know, putting her back in, same deal. Same deal. Watch, 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 watch. Hang on. Make sure I don't cut the. Okay, here we go. Ugh, okay. See right there, that little bit? And then boom. It's like, it's tight. It's in there tight. So sheath works. Sheath works. So I was real happy about it. Um, it doesn't have a dangler, but I'm going to rectify that. I got a little D-ring deal that's going to come that is, you know, got like a hook and whatnot. Blah, blah, blah. So that worked. That worked. So I'm happy. Happy. That works. At least you can uh, TQ the neck if you're bleeding out with the lip cut. Yeah, I could do that. I'll probably pass out and then die from from that <laughs> all right so you hear me making the voices and whatnot what, what's the fuck all about what's that all about the voice what's up with all the voices and shit well you know um part of the reason for the blade and also the hat is um there is a character i made up called jeremiah jones and a spook time investigator okay and uh, I have a magazine that's going to be coming out. I have two magazines, actually. One is actually going to be called uh, So What's Good. And there's a website right now called SoWhat'sGood.com. That's one thing I've been working on. Uh, it's a family effort. We're doing reviews on shit. Um, there'll be a review on that blade, full history, full breakdown, all the other fun shit. It'll be up on there pretty soon. Uh, I'm doing interviews with different people. I've got a interview with Joshua Swanigan pretty soon uh, actually tomorrow uh, after I get that done that'll be up on there I'm also going to be reaching out talking to the tops boys uh, you know figuring out some crazy shit from them from the video game side uh, there are some developers I've been talking to and whatnot so that's what's going to be inside us what's good there's just food entertainment all that fun shit it's going to be in that magazine it's also going to have a blog that's what that uh, so what's good.com now spook time investigators that's still being worked out but what is it gonna be well i'm glad you asked i'm glad you motherfucking asked because i decided fuck it i ain't going to relegate the role of jeremiah jones to some other motherfucker i was gonna be jeremiah jones so uh angry jackalope aka robert r ricks aka jeremiah jones will be doing real life monster hunts so I'm going to be going across this great country of ours, 
looking for monsters, looking for cryptids, looking for weird shit, interviewing all kinds of people. And this is where I want to flip the script. So as I'm out and about doing stuff and interviewing folks about Bigfoot, all the other fun shit, I'm actually going to be also writing stories that are going to take place in that exact same area, but it's the alternate Earth. So Jeremiah Jones, as an example, me, I'll be out interviewing people, talking about the Bigfoot and whatnot, and I'll let them know. The magazine is actually going to have real interviews, but the stories that I'm going to be making off of these interviews and things like that and the locations and the lore and all the other fun shit is going to be based on actual events. So I think that's a fun little twist. We see that in the movies all the time, right? We see movies that are based on actual events. It might The only, thing, the only real thing it might be based on is uh, some motherfucker's name. Some dude named Bill, Bill Popo. Uh, actually claimed he saw a ghost. Well, that's an actual event. He claimed he saw a ghost. But they took that shit and they made a big-ass scary movie out of it. Well, I'm going to do the same fucking thing. But I'm going to base it on cryptids and other crazy shit and i um, going to be traveling and doing that stuff. So, yeah, y'all. That's it. That's all I wanted to really share with you motherfuckers let you guys know what the motherfucking game plan is. So, what's good dot com so what's good, motherfuckers, is going to be where you'll be able to uh, see all kinds of reviews on different products and things of that nature. Uh, let's see here. You need to get you an RV. That's what I'm doing when I retire. Spend a year traveling the country in an RV to meet people and maybe see some supernatural shit by accident. That, well, you know what? That's the wifey's plan. She's been wanting to do that for a while, and I kind of flipped the script on her and said, you know what? Fuck the travel nursing shit. Let's let's hunt monsters and make a living out of it. And she's like, "Are you fucking serious?" I'm like, "Do I look like I'm fucking joking?" I mean, you know, I was telling her earlier, you know, with this blade, I go, "This motherfucking blade right here, fucking crocodile hunter would be like, now that's a motherfucking blade." I'm like, "No fucking shit, that's a motherfucking blade. It's a mother." Fucking really dilly, fucking stabby, shaky, fucking urgh, fucking thing, right? Like we were talking about, uh, what is that shit? The um, the blades from 3D gear, right? So you know, oh hey, check this out. While I'm talking about 3D gear, so they had sent me the blue one, right? Boom, that's the Grim Reaper. Done, got it. But I had to get me. The tan one whoop, with uh, the compass thing, just like um, Bronx did. Pick it, pick it, Bronx. But somebody had asked me a question. Well, would you be able to fight, you know, Bigfoot or some shit with that? I'm like, ah, I don't know. I could cut his balls or something. Yeah, I think, I think I could, I could fuck with a Bigfoot. I don't know. I'm just saying. Not like I'd go fuck with a Bigfoot, like just to try to fuck with a Bigfoot. You know what I mean? I'd be thrilled just. To see a motherfucking Bigfoot. But you know, I live on that golden rule. Don't start no shit, won't be no shit. So as long as Bigfoot don't step with some crazy shit, all goody, right? So, I told the wife, I said, yeah, I'm dead fucking serious about this shit. And she's like, all right, all right. Because here in Utah, they got some tons of shit I could even start with right motherfucking here. Now, the hat. I'm thrilled about the fucking hat because y'all know I've had my other hat for... A long fucking time. And um, let's see, what was the name of this company again? H1H? Oh, there it is. Uh, Henschel. Yeah, Henschel. I'm probably fucking that up. H E N S C H E L Henschel Hat Company. So I've been looking for a replacement leather hat forever in a motherfucking day. Okay? Forever. And I'm up on the thing looking around trying to find one and whatnot. And I did. I found one. So I bit the bullet. I bought it. And then I found out that one other YouTuber, the dude that gets bit all the time, the guy that got bit by the bullet ant and all that shit, like he's got the same company hat. And he goes and he like dives in and he's all in the water and whatnot. I'm like, dude, that made me happy as shit. I was like, all right, legit. There it is. Got the hat. Got the hat. I got, um, a really ridiculous vest coming that is made out of like snake skin and shit. It's like, it's ridiculous. You'll see it. You'll see it. But 
it's all part of the Jeremiah Jones motherfucking monster hunting shit, right? So I'm like, okay, okay. So I got, I got to look. I got everything down. I got the scars all over my bodies. I'm moving or moving good now. I'm walking. I'm doing shit. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking, right? So I'm moving around. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Me and my son was talking earlier. Me and the beast here. We're going to be walking and shit. So now I'm back on my motherfucking feet. So wifey was like, you know, she's changing her schedule up. She's going to have the weekends free. I said, hey, we go monster hunt on the weekends, baby. She's like, all right, let's go do it. I said, let's go monster hunt. So there you go. Now she's going to play the role of Jenny Jones, but she's not, you know, she's not really all the way down. Because I told her, you know, Jenny Jones, you know, she likes to wear lingerie and whatnot. And that's all. And then I said, you know, Jenny Jones, she's pretty. She wears lingerie. And then I saw, no. I'm like, fuck. All right. Well, anyway, so I'm going to be doing my motherfucking Jeremiah Jones. We're doing the spook time investigators. We're going to be going around looking for the monsters. And, and you know, the spook meter starts to go, woo, woo, woo. We're going to say, oh, shit. Oh, shit, there's a motherfucking monster. Ah, the motherfucking monster. And so it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So you guys will be able to get some of that because some of that stuff's going to be video. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's Spook Time Investigators, so it might end up on this channel just as, like, called Spook Time Investigators. Uh, and I'll still be doing some little bits and pieces of reviews, but everything's going to be pushing over to this uh, So What's Good. So I think the So What's Good is actually probably also going to have its own YouTube channel. Um, that's all, like, real just heavy-duty just product reviews from everybody in my family. So that's a fun little experiment. And then um, on my side here, on the Angry Jackalope side, um, you know, the Angry Jackalope is, is always going to be here because that's kind of the genesis where everything started. But um, it'll probably be just a rare thing when I pop in here and I do stuff. But all the regular content, um, a tactical course set, that's what I'm talking That's what I'm, woo -woo, that's what I'm talking about. You know, baby, you know, uh, motherfucking nut job with the machete said, you know, I should buy you one of them tactical corsets that has, like, the slots for the boobies and whatnot. You know, you could have a blade there. You could have some bullets and whatnot. And then that way you, the monsters come, you can shoot them with your boobies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, Gary, what's up? You have a question about one of the knives you won. So that was uh, the Rhino. I think you guys won a Rhino. You won, like, um, the American... I think it was like American uh, printed blade. I can't remember what else you guys want. So go ahead and ask your question. And then Simicon, a very old motherfucker Simicon here. The motherfucker is going to probably, I don't want to jinx it. Let me see. Did you mention it and everything? Uh, yeah, see. So he's he, he might be part of Space Force. And he'll be the first motherfucker that we personally know indirectly a couple things and screens removed. That is part of motherfucking Space Force, right? And he might be like, yo, Rob, they got some real deal Holyfield motherfucking aliens and shit. And I'm like, ain't no motherfucking aliens and fucking demons. No, Rob, there's a motherfucking, there's a motherfucking aliens. Nah, ain't no motherfucking aliens. So anyway, <laughs> it'd be fun. Uh, made the folders. For oh, that's uh, Shrade. Shrade. It's called uh, Boneyard. The Boneyard series. And you guys got one that was modified. I took the scales from two different ones and put them together. So, yeah, that's a Shred Blade. A Shred Blade. It's a Shred Blade. It's a Boneyard. I think they still make them. They're really nice. I like them. There's a good motherfucking folder called the, the Boneyard series. And that one with the spider. I, I can't remember if it's just called Spider. But it might be. I don't know. It's, but it's a cool motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, that's it. And uh, Sonny's looking at some body armor. That's awesome, dude. Get some. Uh, looking to get my own first motorcycle. Those motorized bicycles are a hard no-go. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, get a motorcycle. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, Simicon. Gonna be motherfucking uh, space motherfucking shit. Uh, I might be stumbling into motherfucking uh, Area 51. Sp speaking of stumbling into Area 51 and I'm gonna go, I watched the Godzilla versus the King Kong, and I'm happy. I'm satisfied with it. I am satisfied with it as a motherfucker who was always like, Fuck King Kong. Ain't no way King Kong could beat Godzilla. They handled it very respectfully. And I, done, I do think that shit was legit. And I, I am happy. I am very happy with the way it all worked out. And I thought it was a good, it was a cool, uh, I hope, ending to the whole King Kong, Titan, Godzilla shit. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. 
Uh, that's the one opened my pocket. Yeah, I can see that bitch popping in your pocket. That's my fault because, like I said, I swapped the scales on them. And when I did swap the scales on them, I kind of pooched the lock mechanism on it. So, yeah, you got you got an experimental knife there. That's, you know, it is what it is. And me, by me experiment with it, you know, you, 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 know, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. You feel what I'm saying? All right, guys, that is it. I just want to catch you guys up. Share the blade. I'll give you guys one more little look at it because I just want to take it out and put it in my hands again. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Durr. Durr. Damn, Gina. Damn, I says. Damn. Look at that shit. This is motherfucking ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. I like, I like how you catch the light. I don't like the fingerprints on it, but I like how I catch the light. So there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But, oh, they're going to make another one, huh? Well, fuck. I guess. All right. Whatever. Uh, it was good, though. I did like it. I did like it. Uh, look at us solar generators. That's cool, dude. Let me know how that shit works out. I'm always kind of curious about those things, especially like a grid down scenario, how that shit could work out. So we will have to powwow and chit chat. Um, I was speaking with Amidicus earlier today. And uh, at some point when our schedules get lined up, I'm going to start a Twitch channel. Uh, and it's just for video games. So there'll be one day out of the week where I will be probably streaming on Twitch. Uh, just game. As we're playing the games and shit, I'll just probably be talking shit just because that's what I do. And um, that's it. So we'll be having a Twitch thing before you know it. I will have those magazines and stuff. So you know, definitely check out sowhatsgood.com. That's, that's just a fun thing. I'm super excited about it. And like I said, I have some interviews with some really fun people coming up that's going to be there. And I've always wanted to put a magazine out. And so now this is going to take that off of my uh, my bucket list. And uh, it gives me another vehicle for putting content out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then don't forget, Spook Time Investigators, motherfucker. Jeremiah Jones. Please make your motherfucking acquaintance. That's right. We will have a motherfucking good time. You know what I'm saying? So, obviously, when the rest of the wardrobe shows up, I will share that with you guys. I went through Leather Colt again. They, they make most of my leather gear. I like it. Like the jacket sitting behind me, the vest over there. Almost all my leather jackets I get made at uh, Leather Colt because they actually make shit that to my size. So, it fits my big ass. So, anyway, there it goes. Um, and that's it. All right, guys. So I will see you motherfuckers again. But remember, so what's good.com, spook time investigators. Don't forget the spook meters because that's just going to be fun. And for any of you motherfuckers that want to do like alternative reality advertising, when I do the spook time shit, like I'm going to be talking with tops. I'm going to be telling them, hey, you know, what, what, <laughs> what monsters would these blades be applicable for, you know, in the thing and so i'm going to be trying to get from them alternative ads so i want to do ads of real shit well it's not a stingray leather it's actually snake so i have snake skin leather coming it's fucking ridiculous it's ridiculous in my mind you'll see it you'll see it you'll, you'll see you'll see but um so yeah so if you guys want uh even some of you youtubers for example if you want to make an alternative ad for your shit, the first magazine that comes out, I'm going to be doing, um, you know, just mock ad type deals. So, for example, uh, nut job, you're always fucking around with the zombies and the monsters and whatnot, right? So we can put a plug for you on that. That's good. It's just a printed magazine. This ain't no. That's not in a blog. That's gonna be in a printed magazine. Okay, so. Get with me, and then we'll figure out how to make the ads, and then that way when the shit comes out, it'll be a real-world magazine that will plug your fucking channel. So, like, Simicom, for example, if you want to do something with, like, the, the watches and whatnot, we could do, like, a real sick one that says, you know, watches and shit with, like, holy water, secret compartments, and all of the really crazy weird shit, and to say, helps against the vampires and keeps time well, Right. Go ahead and check out Simicon Reviews for more watch, watches and blah, 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 right? So it'll be fun. It'll be fun. So I'm going to be doing some shit that nobody else is really doing. And it's going to be 
whole lot of weird shit. A lot of weird shit coming, guys. So, get motherfucker ready. That's all I got to say. You motherfuckers best be ready. Because it's coming, motherfuckers. It's coming. Because the spoke meter is at an 11. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. See you, motherfuckers, next time. Bye-bye.